Also, just a side note, our neighbor's dog is howling because he is alone. So if he interrupts this video, I am so sorry, but this is the only time I had to film this video and the lighting is really good. So please, <laughs> please bear with me on this one. Hello, hello, my name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a mini haul because I, I realized that I've acquired a few books recently and there has been an update in my ability of buying books and I wanted to do one more haul before we got into the Christmas kind of holiday season um, because I think I will do a final end of the year haul with everything I acquired for Christmas and for the month of December which I will elaborate in just a moment. So because of how many books I had bought recently for the uh, Halloween uh, spooky extravaganza, uh, I decided that I needed to be regulated or just come up with some better strategy of buying books. And that's when my husband tapped in and said, I may spend only $20 a month on books. No more. If I want to spend less, I can, but I don't want to spend less. So rather than doing these big at the beginning or at the end of the season hauls, I will be buying anywhere from one new release book, probably a hardcover, to a few thrift books, kind of like, like discounted books. I think every month at the beginning of the month I'm going to put a poll on my Instagram so if you're not following on me on Instagram you should definitely click uh, you should look down below for my handle which is just at Laura's Little Library and follow me on Instagram so that every month you can vote in my poll on my story of should I buy a one new release book that I want to read or buy uh, books online at a cheaper price that I've been wanting to buy whether it's because I read the book and enjoyed it or I'm finishing a series, whatever. So definitely follow me on my social media to keep up to date with that. I did do it once for my November books and I will get to that when I actually do the haul. But so I'm doing a very small haul now and then I'm gonna do like the end of the year haul of everything that I got in December, like I said, uh, for Christmas and my December book of the month and whatnot, so. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So let's just get into this little haul now. So the first thing that I realized is that one of my current reads is actually a book that I bought in the summer, but I don't think I ever included in a haul because I had this really big summer haul and I'm not sure if I included this book in that or not. So just in case, Curse of the Spectre Queen by Jenny Elder Moak. Uh, it is my current read. It's what I am focusing on reading right now. It is like Indiana Jones, but with a female lead and for Irish slash Celtic mythology. I've started reading this, like I said, and I am enjoying it so far. And then I recently bought from Thrift Books, the second book in the School for Good and Evil. I've also mentioned this in some videos as it is on my TBR. Hopefully I will read it soon. Um, but this is by Soman Chainani and this like I said, it's the second book. Uh, I know that it's getting a film adaptation and on Netflix next year. I'm really excited to continue with the series before the adaptation comes out. And then this month for November, I decided to go or people voted on my Instagram poll to do multiple old books off of thrift books that I've been wanting to get for a while. And these, I got the first two books in a series where I read the first one but not the second one and I recommend the series all the time so it's about time that I actually got my hands on some physical copies. And that would be Every Heart Adore by Shauna McGuire and then the second book Down Amongst the Sticks and Bones also by Shauna McGuire. So these are the first two in the Wayward Children series. Like I said, I read this one and I loved it. I highly recommend it to everyone. And so I'm finally going to be picking this one up soon. I mean, they're nice and short, which is kind of nice. Um, but these were my picks for November of what I would buy. And then 
I have recently started getting into anime, so I have a friend who is really big into anime, and he finds like all the cute anime too, like all the adorable ones that just make your heart ache. Um, and so he's really got me into anime, and I placed an order through Right Stuff Anime. However, not everything that I ordered was in stock, so I got part of my order. So the first shipment that I got has partial books from two different animes. Um, so the first one, the first one is Horemiya, and I got the first, second, and fourth volume. I have read through volume six, as I've been borrowing them from my friend, but I really want to own all of them as well. So this manga follows a girl who is very popular, but she secretly has like, not anger management issues, but she has a secretly aggressive personality, but she also takes care of her younger brother as her parents are constantly working all the time. And then this follow, and her name is Hori Mia, Hori. And then this also follows Miyamura, who he is a kid who isn't really seen by people. He's known to be very gloomy and dark, and people just kind of have this conception of him. And he actually has a bunch of tattoos and piercings that he has to hide at school, because you're not allowed to wear jewelry or show tattoos or anything like that. And so they start up an unlikely friendship between the two of them as they kind of discover each other's alter personalities or alter egos. Um, him with all of his piercings and tattoos and her as like this care, angry caretaker of her little brother, but they are so sweet. And it is kind of a friends to lover in that way, but I love it so much. It is the cutest thing that the friend group is amazing and oh, and there's also an anime of this as well. So every time I read a new volume in the manga, I am watching the next episode in the anime as well. And I love it so much. Then I also, the other manga that I have started reading that I have volumes four and six of is Spy X Family. So four and six. I think I've only read the first three. I think I've read the third one. I'm not 100% sure. I have to check my Goodreads. But so Spy X Family follows this spy who gets sent on a mission. Um, He's like going after information on this man or something. It's been a little bit. Um, but in order to do that, he needs to get a daughter to send to the school where his target's son goes to school. But in order to get a daughter, he needs to get a wife. So he's trying to form this family. And what ends up happening, it's not really spoilers, it all kind of comes forth within the first volume. So he adopts this little girl who nobody knows is psychic, but like she totally is. And then he ends up uh, creating this fake marriage with this woman who nobody knows, but she's an assassin. And so she's like, she's like very sweet, but then she's also like this deadly badass assassin and it's really cool. So the daughter is sitting there knowing that her father is a spy and that her mother is an assassin, but she was an orphan. So she, she put up with whatever just to be in a family. So I am waiting for more volumes of both of these. I placed a very large order. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting to get into manga and he has, my friend has also got me started on a couple others that I am reading, but I need to not spend all my money. So then the last few books that I have to talk about are books that were sent to me, not by a publisher or anything. Two of them were sent uh, because someone on Instagram was just giving away old copies of books and was randomly sending them out to people. So I signed up and I received two books from that. I received The Sergeant's Daughter. Uh, this is a memoir uh, by Teresa Shelton. And this is about Teresa, whose father was a sergeant. And I believe he was very abusive. And so it's her growing up under his military style abuse. And it sounds very deep and it, I mean it's a memoir so it's all true but yeah we'll see we'll see if I end up reading this because already I'm not someone who likes to read nonfiction. I, I I don't like reading nonfiction, and I also just know that this is 
the kind of story that I wouldn't really be interested in, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. It says it's an arc, but it was from like a long time ago. Um, so yeah, we'll see about this one. And then the other one was The Philosopher's Flight, and this is by Tom Miller. And this follows the premise of, I believe it's World War One. It's during, it's during a world war, and it's the idea that uh, there is magic a little bit, and the women tend to be better at flying. So there are a lot of flying nurses, but there is this man who wants to fly as well as the women do. And so he, like, goes to an all-women's school to study an all-women magic and kind of just be the first man, which the concept in itself sounds interesting, but I'm not super, I don't know, there's just something slightly off about it. Because like in so many books, it's constantly the women are breaking through because, you know, in, in real life, women are gaining rights and trying to fight for equality. So to have a book where it's the other way around written by a man, I think it's going to be interesting. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared, but only one way to find out. So I am actually somewhat interested in reading this. It's just not at the top of my TBR. The final book that I received, my friend gave it to me for free and she wants to know what my thoughts are on it. So I will be reading it. And that is The Other Side of Perfect. And this is by Mariko Turk. And this sounds like such a wonderful book. So this is about a girl who was at a dance school and she was training to be a professional dancer until one day she shatters her leg. And so all of her hopes and dreams kind of go down the toilet a little bit. So she trades in this uh, ballet school for a normal high school and she begrudgingly joins the musical, I believe. And she, she finds a girl there that she might be attracted to. She might be kind of cute. And she kind of comes to terms with all of the racism that there is in the ballet world now that she has a chance to step back and look at a different aspect of theater. She is Japanese American and so um, she, it sounds like there's lots of issues with um, racism in the ballet world, which there is. Um, so this is going to be a really interesting book to read and I'm really excited and I am really happy to grow my ballet based um, contemporary novels as I have a couple of them up there as I at one point did a dance mostly ballet themed reading vlog so you should go and check that out if this sounds interesting I read a bunch of ballet books it was fun but yeah so this this, I have another one. So those are all 12 of the books that I have recently acquired. Like I said, this probably won't be the last haul that I do, but I don't expect the final one to be very big either. Um, so I probably won't have near as many haul videos in the future, just with this whole one, maybe two books a month thing. Um, but I will definitely be asking your opinions on whether I should buy one or multiple. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe down below and click the bell so you're notified. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. Otherwise, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts and opinions on them. I would always love to discuss anything bookish with you. And so yeah, thank you all for watching again. And until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading.